so if, it, if the null hypothesis is true, um, then you're likely to get a high p-value. So A sounds like it would be marked true, but it's not guaranteed. Okay, So we wouldn't mark true. Um, we want to say D is right. The p-value is about the data, not the hypothesis. The p-value is the probability that you got your data given that the null hypothesis is true. Okay, And I think that's something they're going to emphasize in this question, that the p-value is technically about the data. It provides evidence for or against the null hypothesis, but um, B, uh, it says if the null hypothesis is true, p-value 0.01 will occur about 1% of the time. Um, if the null hypothesis is true, then it's not uh, p-value 0.01, but it's specifically 0.01 or less, right? When you calculate a p-value, it's the area in the tails. So here's a p-value where it starts at 0.01, but it could be something even less, 0.05. So when we calculate those probabilities, we're talking about tails, which are less than or, or equal to tails. So that's not exactly true either. It's If the null hypothesis is true, a p-value of 0.01 will occur. Uh, one, uh, a p-value of 0.01 or less will occur about 1% of the time. Uh, that looks like D. If the null hypothesis is true, then a p-value of 0.01 or less, like 0.05 or 0.02, 0.002, or I think I said the wrong one the first time. 0 0.005, 0 0.002, anything less than 1, 0 0.01 will occur 1% of the time. Okay, C, uh, a p value of 0 0.9 means that the null hypothesis is a good chance of being true. That's kind of right, but it's really more about the data, like we said in part A, right? A p value is a probability that you got this data given that the null hypothesis is true. So there's a 90% chance that you could get this data randomly, assuming that the null hypothesis is true. Okay, but the, the specific word there is data. So I think these, I had trouble with these options first time I looked at them. Um, it doesn't say anything, I mean, it does kind of say something about the probability that the null hypothesis is true based on the data, but they want you to select C because they're trying to emphasize the data. This is another question where I'm not sure that this is, this is right. This is pretty misleading. A p-value tells you it, it's how we make a conclusion about the null hypothesis. So it does say something about the probability that the null hypothesis is true. I guess not directly, though. So maybe it's in a really picky technical way that that's true. Uh, D, choose the correct answer below. A p-value of 0 0.9 is strong evidence that the null hypothesis is true. Yeah, that's pretty strong evidence. It's saying there's a 90% chance that you could get this data assuming that the null hypothesis is true. Um, but really, what we do with our hypothesis testing is either we reject or we fail to reject the p-value. We don't say that we have evidence for something. Um, whether a p-value provides evidence for the null hypothesis depends on the alpha level. That does That is true, but we never have an alpha over 0 0.5. 0 0.05 we would, but... Uh, so B is B is true. Whether P value provides actually that's another one of the, one of those situations where it should say whether P value provides enough evidence for the null hypothesis depends on the alpha level. Uh, C the P value provides strong evidence the null hypothesis is false. Uh, that's not true at all. 0 0.9 means it's, uh, P value is uh, that the null hypothesis is likely. D so C is out. D this P value solely provides no evidence that it's false. Okay, so there's that technical definition I was talking about the, at the beginning. When you make a decision on a, on a hypothesis, we're either rejecting the null or failing to reject the null. It isn't really providing evidence for the null. So this is pretty confusing. Where the p-value solely provides no evidence that it's false, which I guess technically isn't the same as providing evidence that it's true. Okay, so D is the correct answer on that one because it's just saying that we can't reject the null hypothesis. It doesn't say that the null hypothesis is true.